Well, one of the tallest basketball recruits in the country lives in Luverne, Alabama. And he's had to overcome the loss of someone special in his quest to play college basketball. Sports reporter Ben Bolton joins us now with an Alabama News Network Extra towering above tragedy. Dante Hall towers above his competition on the basketball court, coming in at six foot eleven. And while his height has attracted the looks of many college scouts, Dante says his motivation comes from the memory of a loved one he once lost. This is Towering Above Tragedy. This kid's got major hops. I mean, he can block shots better than any high school kid I've ever seen. Uh, Dante, I always could tell that he had a, uh, a knack for scoring. He is definitely the talk of the town, and Luverne High School, everybody's proud of him. This is Laverne, Alabama, home to about 3,000 people, including one of the biggest basketball prospects in the country. When I go off, people ask me where I was from, and they honestly didn't know what Luverne was, uh, the name of it, that I had to spell it out to some people just for them to know what Luverne, what Luverne was, so we just that small. Some may call Dante a big fish in a small pond. Four years ago, the highly rated basketball recruit was about six feet tall, and after a major growth spurt, he's now 6'11", and one of the biggest standouts on and off the court. It's nice, though, you know, from you know, just for me to live to see this moment, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we just wish Dad was here, but... November 30th, 2010. Dante made his debut on the JV team. His dad, Donald Hall, was there to watch him play. But the day would soon turn tragic for Dante and his number one supporter. And the game had just ended. And we would walk, we would just finish shaking hands with that team, we were walking off the court. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just heard some commotion up, up top and look, and I just seen him laying down. I walked in the locker room and I was taking off my jersey and somebody told me I better go check on my dad. Uh, uh, he was sitting up top. So I walked out and I was going up the steps and they told me not to come up there. And after that, I just turned around because I knew something bad had happened. Donald Hall had a heart attack while watching his son play basketball. He passed away at the age of 45. His dad, when his dad passed, I think that's really pushed him toward the basketball because, you know, his dad, him and his dad, that was something they did in the backyard. They would get the basketball and they would go out in there and play and stuff. And, you know, like right after the funeral, the day after we buried him, he picked up the basketball and went out in the backyard and went to play. So I was like, I was like, he's gonna be okay. As Dante grew in size and popularity, he needed someone to look up to, someone he could talk to. Coach Dorsey was there to help. I just knew that I would have to uh, be more available for him when needed. Over the last few years, Coach Dorsey has been there to help guide Dante, especially when phone calls started coming in from colleges like Troy, Georgia, and Mississippi State. I was, it was getting calls from here that Mama, she, she was starting to stress a little bit about a co the coaches calling her phone and all that. But it was a call from the University of Alabama that changed the game. Him and his dad, both of them, you should hear them at home. I'm going to come on. You best to be quiet because they're the only two you're going to hear in the house. He loved Bama. That's just about everything in the house that was his, it was Bama. Dante signed with the Crimson Tide almost four years to the day that his dad passed away. He chose to hold the ceremony in the stands, the last place he saw his dad alive. Him being an Alabama fan, it, I know me putting on that jersey, being in Alabama, a part of Alabama, it would, like, make him happy. Dante is getting ready to play the last games of his high school career. 
He'll graduate in May, then head to Tuscaloosa. And from there, anything can happen. I mean, I just think he's going to take off. And, you know, the sky's the limit. Who knows what he's going to do when he get on there? I mean, I think he can, I think he can make it to the, to the next level uh, beyond college. Yes, I sure do. And I know it's going to take some work, and, you know, he's a hard worker. The way I look at it, I'm going to just do what I got to do at Belmont. And then if God leads me to where I need to go, that's where I'm going. In the meantime, this basketball standout is cherishing every moment, whether he's dunking, joking around, or listening to gospel music. Dante knows that there's someone he can look up to and a place in the stands where he can sit and remember. My dad, he was a man that didn't, didn't give up on nothing he had and he said he was going to do. So that's really where I get it from. Dante told me that he uses the memory of his father as motivation when he's on the court. He knows that no matter what happens while in Laverne or Tuscaloosa, that his father is watching over him. All right, thanks, Ben. If you'd like to know more about Dante's story, be sure to check out our website, alabamanews.net, to see even more about his journey that we weren't able to show you tonight.